Question number 10, Charles Chevelle. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Energy and Resources and asks, does the government still subscribe to the New Zealand Energy Strategy 2007, in particular the goals of achieving 90% renewable electricity generation by 2025 and halving domestic transport emissions per capita by 2040? The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Mr Speaker, Mr Speaker, if the member didn't spend so much time nosing about the Facebook pages of my staff, read some of my speeches in which I acknowledge that the previous government's energy strategy is considered by the current government to be deficient in a number of respects. That will be updated later in the year. However, as regards the targets the member mentions, they remain important aspirational goals. <laughs> Chris Ockenvall. Supplementary to the Minister. Has the Minister seen any recent reports about thermal electricity generation? The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Mr Speaker, yes, I have. I have seen a report that between the year 2000 and 2008, when Labor was in office, well over half of all the new electricity generation that came on stream was generated from thermal sources. The Labor government gave a gas guarantee to Genesis so it could build the new 385 megawatt gas-fired station at Huntley, and electricity generated from coal grew astronomically. Charles Chevelle. Order. Uh, does the minister stand by his comments uh, that renewable energy will be incentivised by a price on carbon? And if so, how does he expect this to happen when his colleague Nick Smith has already answered in this parliament that he has no idea when the emissions trading scheme will be operational? The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, yes, I do stand by that. And the government, as the member knows, has a committee reviewing the previous government's legislation and remains of a view that New Zealand should have an emissions trading scheme and there should be a price on carbon. Charles Chevelle. Does the Minister stand by his statement that transport makes up nearly half of New Zealand's energy use, but only 0.7 of the sector's energy use is renewable? We need to change that over time if we are to start reducing our greenhouse gas emissions. And if he does, when will he introduce sustainability standards for biofuels, given his government's opposition to adding biofuels into New Zealand's energy mix until such standards are introduced? The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Um, a number of questions there, Mr Speaker, so I'll go through them slowly. Firstly, uh, the Ministry for the Environment is currently working on standards that will soon be promulgated for the production of biofuel in New Zealand. The uh, uh, second point was about uh, the... With, do I stand by my statement that we need to reduce emissions from transport over time? Well, I do. And I, I liken it uh, to perhaps someone in about 1880 deciding whether or not they should have a significant reduction in horse droppings on the roads over the next 30-odd years. The answer then was yes, and we're in exactly the same sort of technology uh, transformation at the present time. So uh, I think uh, the member should be uh, uh, comforted by the fact that I stated earlier uh, the transport emission Order. reductions are Order. in fact an aspirational Order. goal. Order. One can only conclude that the government is actually wanting to waste time to it answers that long. Uh, Charles Chevelle. Uh, <laughs> point of order, the Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Mr Speaker, that question had four parts to it. I did my best to answer because you are so keen that ministers answer members' questions. And I was perfectly, order, I was perfectly happy to allow the, member, the minister time to answer a number of parts because there were a number of parts in it. But then he continued on. Uh, much after that. Charles Chevelle, supplementary Thank question. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Hopefully we'll get the answer from the right end of the horse on this one. Um, Order, the member will just... <clears throat> if the member wants to ask a supplementary, he'll just ask it. My question is to the Minister and asks, will we ever see an energy policy from his government that shows an understanding of the sustainability challenges faced by New Zealand or will he just continue to dismantle all of the previous government's work in this area while continuing to claim the credit for the results of that work? The Honourable Jerry Brown. Mr. Speaker, Mr Speaker, I make no attempt to claim credit for the 
uh, half of the new generation produced or commissioned under his government, uh, relying on thermal fuel. I make no claim to the 72 per cent increase in electricity retail price over the term of his government, and simply answer to his two questions, yes and no.